This short video will be looking at how valves work on a brass instrument. In this example we are looking at a diagram showing the third valve on a trumpet, but the same applies to any brass instrument or any valve. The valve has three sets of holes through it. It is going into the valve chamber and this is now its natural position when not depressed. When you do depress the valve with your finger, it moves down the chamber and then comes back up when released. In this position, when you blow down the instrument, the air goes along the tubing and passes through the valve and then continues to the next valve. The path of the air is shown by the yellow line in the direction of the arrows. Notice how the air cannot go through the other part of the tubing shown in the diagram. Now the valve is pushed down with the finger. The air follows the same path until it reaches the valve. But now the holes in the valve divert the air so that it goes around the additional bit of tubing and then on to the next valve. When the length of tubing is extended like this, it enables you to play lower fundamental notes. Now let's look at what happens if the valve is put in incorrectly. We are going to take this valve out and turn it around 180 degrees. When the valve is back in place, you will see that the air comes in and reaches the valve but is then stopped because the hole is in the wrong position. You will not get a sound out of the instrument like this, so make sure the valve is correctly fitted. Let's just turn the valve around again to the correct position.